We are in Nevada right now with the RER worst things that we're gonna have to deal with. Yep, looks like we're about to kick off here now. All right, here we go. Free spring to receive. And there we go, a little squib here. Room. Stopped around the 35. A little scramble for it there. And now here we are. All here, and we will see what the Wolves come out with here on offense. Coach for Reed Springs before the game, and he mentioned something about the Wolves being a Start off with a little carry there to Preston. Looking at that Nevada defense, you know, it looks like the running pass to Caden. Good catch, Caden powering ahead. Not often you see the first man take Caden down. And of the ground. Phenomenal football player. Swing out. Second down now coming up. can always count on Reed Spring for is these really impressive opening first drives and it's just a matter about keeping that consistency and the momentum we build from it. Short pass out there to the left to James. Got a little room and picks up some good yardage. And putting together here is really what we need to establish all game, you know. Chunk plays into the end zone. the Tigers we saw a lot last week Reeds was not able to make close to it another good run there from Preston Bluebaugh you know Preston's another one of those guys that you know we talked about uh, in, the, in the home opener against Monette, you know, someone who, if he stays healthy, could have a phenomenal senior season. We've seen so many flashes in the pan in previous seasons, only to be stopped by injury, and so I, I think this could really be the year for Preston to truly say, you know, hey, I'm that guy in the backfield. Another handoff to Preston here. Cuts it outside. Big run from Preston. He's gone. Touchdown, He's Wolves. Touchdown. That's Nevada's weakness on defense. They have a very aggressive D-line. The second you get it outside on Nevada, it, it you know that's that's where they don't want it. Seeing the players very happy, but the coaches seem very calm on Reed Springs' side. Looks like this is their game plan all along. A nice little opening score, you know, showing. Defense can come out here in the field and do, and how Reed Springs D will respond.
Wolves to kick off now. It's like, it's like I said, you know, you can always count on those Wolves scoring on that opening drive, but we just got to be consistent throughout the game. We'll see how it unfolds. Miguel Campos to kick off. Long drive boot. Got a little bit of room. Breaks a few tackles and Daniel Fifthwood finally able to make that tackle after two or three run over. You know, coming out here for Nevada, you know, they, they got a really intelligent, intelligent QB that's out there, you know, someone it's that backfield that's going to murder us throughout the whole game. You know, like we mentioned in the pregame, that's a three-headed threat for Nevada. And I guarantee you that we'll see plenty of run plays from here tonight. there from 28 Case Sanderson who's really their big 6'3 power back you know rushing for 968 yards and 15 touchdowns last year they got there to step in and Gets to the QB. And something that we're really going to have to see consistently throughout this game, as we did last week, was Adam Lewis with those two or three sacks. That was crucial against the Monette game. We're going to have to see that a lot this week. He's been a big leader on that defense. Oh, and Adam tracking him down. And a swarm of wolves. There's number two, Avius Stedman. He is the man who earned all state honors last year as a running back, 1,831 yards on the ground and 23 touchdowns on just 154 carries. He is an absolute speedster. You know, if it's not uh, Sanderson who's running it right up the middle, Avius is the guy that's gonna bounce it out and kill you with the speed. He's the big threat that we need to watch tonight. But after a good, three and out here calls to the fair catch around the 15 good opening defensive drive from Reeds you know we shut down Nevada there and that's what we like to see this every single drive for our defense absolutely it, it's time to Stop quickly there. Right at the line of scrimmage. Let's go! drops back the pass. Has Gets pressure on him. Gets it off. Picked up. Oh, and he's right there. Landy pressure right in his face. A fortunate decision there. You know, coming in this game. defensive backs guys that can fly all over the field that was a pick six 
Thought he was stopped short, but he made it in. On the defense. First quarter. Now, if you're for that, or, or do you come out in the run game and maybe? But I think he's going to make it. I'd agree with that. I Perception like that is just really keep throwing. All over, they're going to swap him up. Yeah, you know, that's the thing is that defense can only do so. The way on Nevada, and they'll move back a little bit because of that. Yep, offsides. Little mistake there in the kickoff, and give Reeds a little bit more room. Come together for a little talk. Probably. Now to kick off. No. I <laughs> oh, okay. Offsetting penalties. Well, there you go. I guess there was another offsides on Reeds there, so just basically a re kick. <laughs> All right. Deep drive. He's missed. got a little bit of room. Ooh. He's shifty in the. Reach Springs offense coming back out here after that pick six that I'm sure we'd all like to forget sometime soon. At not letting him affect you. We'll see what happens here. Hand off to press. Every yard. Screen there to Trayson. Oh, 
Good game there to re for Reeds. Looks like it's good enough for a first down. Yeah, lose the chains. Something that I'm already noticing in these first two drives for the Wolves is when they do Preston Blue Ball right up the middle, they are getting it time and time again. We're going to have to use this sweep almost too much to get those runs going. Oh, Blendy fumbles a fumble. snap. Thankfully recovers it. Ooh, that could have been trouble. Second and 14 now. Another pass there. Gets it to K. Good play for Reeds. That will definitely move the chains. Oh, but a flag. And it's against the Wolves. Looks like they're not moving forward. We saw penalties haunt us plenty last week against Monette, even with the win. And looks like they're coming coming back early here. Something we obviously need to fix. Something that we cannot have against Nevada. They will take that and run with it every single time against the Wolves. That's holding. Oof. That explains why Blaney may have had a little extra time. Yep. So instead of first and 10, it'll be second and 24. We need that Blaney special. Yeah, we'll see what they whip up here. Got him some speed on the edge, but not enough there to get around the tacklers. Tackled for a loss of about one. That'll actually be a loss of... I think it's safe to say to expect the pass here. See what the Wolves can do after what was looking like a promising drive is... Struggling now a little bit. Blendy rolling out left again. Gets it back to Trayson the other way. But he's met immediately. He's going nowhere fast. Nevada read that one like a book, and that'll bring up fourth and very long. Good punt. Oof. Very good punt. <laughs> Man, I tell you, I can't wait till the sun goes down. <laughs> I think it's right in everybody's eyes right now. Certainly a nice night though, oh man. After just a little bit of rain, it was very short, but it was a lot of rain on the way here. Looks like it dried up nicely and it's gonna be a good night for Friday Night Lights. Yeah, I, I remember I was a little uh, concerned earlier in the day. I was like, uh-oh, you know, a lot of rain. I hope it isn't still pouring down in Nevada. And here we are in clear skies, perfect temperatures. Man, I, I wish every football game was like this. Oh. <laughs> All right, yeah, the Tigers come out after that long pump by Blandy.
is going to be starting on their own 29 yard line. Fake out to Avius and Wolves sniff it right out. Wattenberger on the tackle there. Great play defensively from the Wolves, who haven't given up anything so far. Watching these guys work out, especially Lucas, it shows that they care about football on and off the field, especially in the weight room. Fake the pass and handoff now and he's fighting for Avia yards. Still going. What a run there from Avia Stedman. Wow. Looks that like that run will move the chains. Well, it's plays like those to show you why that man ran for 1,800 yards last year. And 23. This is a machine and shows it there. And They're pointing yeah. both ways. And Nevada's moving backwards. You know, with that run, the biggest thing is, you know, 502 total yards of offense, 462 of that was rushing yards. So the run game is obviously where they're going to be going to here, constantly, constantly using that single wing offense. They got another and again, run. Davius, and he's got a hole, big hole. And we got a couple throw, flags. And he's finally chased down. He's finally stopped around the 20, but that could be coming back. Nevada's already starting to walk back. Looks like it's yeah. Something tells me that run isn't going to stand. Looks like it's a face mask at the spot of the foul. Holding, I do apologize. Uh, you know, it's penalties like those that sort of kind of explain why he had, you know, may have had that running room there. First and eight now after that big run. Another handoff on the outside. And there's Johnson with it. Second and five now for the Tigers after that short run. Another handoff to Johnson. Going right to that right side, right back there, and another solid pickup. Won't be enough though, bring up third down and probably short. Third and one, yep. Now, Ty, I'd like to get your input on this. Nevada with a certainly a football dynasty in their own right. How do you think Reed Spring is stacking up for the next three, four, five, ten years? You know, it's uh, <laughs> ten years, you know, it's hard to say, but, I mean, if we're talking three, four, you know, I think I think we've got a really nice young core just from some, you know, from what I've seen, you know, with standout players like Lucas Wattenberger, you know, Jace Bolin, you know, players like that that, you know, already saw time last year, 
as a freshman on varsity and are making even more of an impact this year as sophomores on varsity. So, you know, not to mention the massive presence of starters that are juniors that at least secure us for next year. So, I mean, it's, it's impressive. It's, 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 it's a good, solid young group. You know, next year we're obviously going to miss quite a few seniors, but you know, it is what it is. People come and leave, and you just got to find people to fill their shoes. Third and one now with 18 seconds left in the first. Ooh. And just a short little run there from Stedman. And that'll be enough for a first down. ball off long enough so that'll be the end of the first quarter and we will be right back after a short commercial break at Oakley Auto World we strive to be your all-around best option when buying a vehicle high quality inventory that goes through a 128 point inspection a service department available to anyone needing it the custom t-rock jeeps for people wanting something unique and customer service that works to get the right vehicle at the right price Come see us at Oakley Auto World. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here. Coming into the second quarter, Wolves lead seven to six. And the Tigers have the ball on their own 46 yard line. Or excuse me, Wolves, the Wolves 46 yard line. There. Takes Drops the back the pass. Gets it out to Stedman. He's got room. Ooh. Shoved out of bounds there by a pack of wolves. Goodness. It, I'm going to be honest with you. It should not take that many players to bring that just one man down. And the biggest thing about this Nevada team is that, you know, there there is experience, you know, all over the board, you know, just about what I think it was three years ago, you know, this Nevada team went 0-10, you know, winless. And, you know, a lot of seniors here, freshmen at the time, went through that. And honestly, it's, I think it's only made them sharper and stronger and more driven players. As we see now, this, you know, the team were, you know, seniors left and right, experienced all over the board here. And it's finally all coming together here this year for Nevada as they look to put up quite a run this season. We'll see how it goes. Second and six now for the Tigers. Mm -hmm. And Sebastian Michaud on him quick there. First to him. Good tackle there. Now to bring up third down and five. Shore takes a snap. Another run there for Sanderson, and he's going nowhere. Lewis and Flifflet on him. And that'll bring up fourth down.
It looks like with this good field position, they'll be going for it. Be sure or will fake the drop back. Give it off to Stedman. He's got wide, wide open room. Right into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. C's basically parted for him there. I mean, there he's home free second. They bounced out left. And that's really been working really well for them. Not a whole lot of runs up the middle, but a whole bunch of runs that are just going to the outside, left or right. And it's been working like a charm. Another score there for the Tigers. And they'll go for two. And wide open in the end zone. Caught. And there's a successful two-point conversion for the Tigers. Not to bring the score. 14 to 7, Tigers lead. We've been talking about it all week. Reed Spring cannot leave. And move. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's going to be drive that the Tigers are going to come out there and score. Just just because they are an offense and how talented they are, and that you know the Wolves defense got to help them out here with a little bit of. Bolin cuts it out right. Really going to be looking for a good touchdown here in a quick stop by the Bet you definitely need to turn the momentum back in our favor here. Got to shake off these mistakes. Hand off to Blue Ball. Little bit of room up there to the right. Good run there on first down. Brings up second and six. Another handoff there to Blue Ball. Decent amount of room there again, and another good chunk. First down for Reeds after a little bit of confusion there, it seems. Again to Preston. And another good run. This, Caden, this, is, the, this is the drive we like here. Just slow and steady winning the race. Caden was able to get out in front of him and get a good amount of blockage. Create that runway. Hogging that possession time. This Blandy will roll out left to pass. Launches it deep, but oh, oh. almost picked off, caught by Addison. <laughs> oh my. Oh, that looked like another interception there for sure. And just out of reach for the defense. Those plays that you see almost never unless you're in the NFL, but Addison Abshire being a very, very <laughs> experienced player able to stay calm there from Madison and good concentration there 
That that was in. Up. Down. Seen a really nice. It's working. This is what we're going to need to. He's good. Not to be good drives. Then almost oh. picked off. Tra Instincts there knocks it. Oh my! Some risky business going on here, but we'll still have the ball. Well, he drops back the pass again. Looks Wants like it for Preston. He's no. not looking for it. Preston didn't turn his head fast enough. Could have had something. There was a lot of room for Preston. He just, like you said, didn't get his head around. Brings up third and ten now. Brings up third down and ten for Reed. Hands it off there, Preston. With a good way. Fighting for yards, but won't be enough for a first. It's going to be fourth down and seven. And with this field position, looks like maybe a little too long for a field goal, but too short to punt. So Wolves will be going for it. This is what I like to see. It's Here we 14 go. to 7 with six minutes left in the first quarter. This is kind of those do or die situations. Looks like we're gonna have to go to a timeout. Reeds will take a timeout here. Probably discuss. All right, hey, what are we gonna do here that's gonna work the best? And we'll see what they come out with. Doesn't mean, Ty, what do you think? We've seen the run can work, but the alley has to be open well or we have to run a sweep, and that that can be scary. But the pass is also, they got a, they have good corners and good linebackers. What are we thinking? I'm, I'm going to be honest, coming out here fourth and six, I don't think the run's really an option. It's been there, but it hasn't been there with six yards. So I think I think the pass is, is a little reliable. I Honestly, nice little Turn it up field. I mean, just a short little pass. Either that, or you try and go for the homer and hit the end zone. So, but just six yards, and we're in the red zone. Landy will drop back the pass. Good protection. Breaks down now. Landy rolling. Overshoots oh. Trayson. Incomplete. Wolves we'll pieced together a good drive there, but they just couldn't finish it, unfortunately. And Tigers ball.
takes over. First down and 10. They'll start from their own 21 yard line. Handoff outside, left. Stedman got some room. Got a lot of room. Trips over his own man. And a couple of massive gain the there. And just like that, they're all the way down there. And we warned him. Avia Stedman, that's a heck of a player right there, and he shows it yet again. But it looks like the chains are not going to be moving just yet, waiting on the what the flag will be. Oh, geez, it could be holding again. Tigers are all the way back there. Yep, refs are walking back. That is not good to see if you're a Tiger fan. That is going to be great for the Reed Spring defense. But we cannot rely on those penalties. Sure, that could have given him a lot more yardage, but we cannot rely on those penalties to keep us moving back. We have to make those stops ourselves. After that holding penalty, moving back to the 21. Wouldn't be surprised if they tried that again. And yeah, we get go with the same, same play. Thing. Right back to Avius. And right down the field he goes again. Addy's not catching him. Touchdown, Tigers. With the same stinking play, they get us snapping again. That time for a touchdown. Now, I've ne never played football, but I know when you have a play that ran that well, you have to anticipate them running it again. If they see that it's going to work well, we have to anticipate it's going to work well again. You know what they say, fool me one time, shame on you. Fool me twice, can't put the blame on you. So, uh, at least extra points blocked there by the Wolves. Well, there's something out of that, but oof. All that was was just, I, I, I mean, honestly, that penalty just helped them. Goodness. Looking back at last week, Nevada at Springfield Catholic, they steamrolled Catholic with a 62 to seven showing. And man, oh man, that was, that was a tough game to watch. Yeah, no kidding. And Stedman is showing that he's just picking off, picking up from where he left off last year and continuing to run right through defenses. It's those outside runs that, like I said, are just murdering us. We contain them well. On the outside, Stedman or Johnson is home free. Good kick. Deep. Fielded by Jace. Recovers it well. Oh. Cuts it right, but nothing coming of it, and tackled. These will return, and Wolves will start at their own 24. say it time and time again but I really think this is the drive that us scoring with 540 left in the half with 20 to 7 I think that would give us a great seed going into the half what I'd really like to see is us have this ball for the remaining 530 that's on the clock there run oh. it all the way down and then score with it that'd be amazing to see that would be nice because after seeing 
what the Tigers just did, I don't really want to give them another chance on offense before the half here. Because in 30 seconds, they could have another time. Goodness, I mean, I don't know how many times I'm going to have to say it. Our defense can only do so much. Pass there to Blandy. Gets it to Dowdy. Shake and bake. And tackled there. Brings up third down. Not enough for a first. 32. So six yard pass there to Dowdy. Now just looking for two more yards to move the chains. Like Blaney he's trying to get him on the false snap. Wasn't able to get it. Looking on the sideline, changes play. Hand off to Preston. Preston, and he's good for two yards. Yep. That'll move the chains. And there's a respring first down. Good clock management so far. Four minutes now left. Blandy dropping back the pass. Gets it out there Addison to Addison. Adshire. Got some speed on the edge. Addison's got a lot of speed and oh, just tripped out of bounds. But there are some flags on the play. I, oh no. I do hope that is not holding on us. The Wolves are walking back. Oh no. Yep. That's gonna be well, holding. Turnabout is fair play. Huh. Big, run, big run there from Addy and called for holding. That'll move him right back. First and seven. Now we got three minutes and 51 seconds left. Now plenty of time, but Ty, do you think that Blandy will will make unforced mistakes if he feels pushed by the time. I don't think so. I mean, for the most part, he, I, I think I think he, you know, from what I always see from Blandy, he always gets better as the game goes on. So I think, you know, under pressure, well, we may be, at, you know, obviously he's made a mistake or two here so far, but, you know, it's to be expected. Mm -hmm. It's against a good team. Very and, good team. Yeah, no kidding. And, you know, I think not just him, but everybody out there is, you know, putting their best foot forward. So I, I, I think I think he'll he'll handle just fine. But, you know, only time will tell. So Blendy drops back the pass. Gets Jason it. Cobb. And Nevada's right on him. Oh, man. No gain there on that play. Third and seven now. Wolves have done a good job running down the clock, but now time to get just a little farther downfield. Reset the chains, do it again. Drops back the pass again for Blandy. Rolls out right and is sacked. Tigers get to him. That's going to be a big problem for us all game. The Nevada Tiger, Tigers run blitz a lot. Well, it's like I said, Roll Wolves ran down about, you know, four and a half minutes on that, or my bad, three and a half minutes on that clock. Ty just needs to do a little math there, you know. But uh, looks like Blandy will, yeah, Blandy will punt. punt. Good punt there. Ooh. And he'll, into the stands. <laughs> the newly renovated stands. Oh my. It's a little scary seeing a Blandy Burl punt come at you. But everyone's okay. Yeah, just went off the side of his foot a little bit and wish it was a little straighter down the field, but 
that's what I don't think people realize about football. Football is about a lot of tiny technique. Anything that is very small, that is off, it's not it, especially kicks and passes. Nevada running the same thing they have all day. It's like Caden's right there. But, oops. nope. Dowdy gets to him. Good tackle there, and then. Small five yard run there from Jordan Johnson. Be sure takes snap. Pitch to Johnson, and Wolves are on that one. Lewis and Flifley get to him. Seeing a very experienced Johnson, he saw Caden Weiss creeping on, up on him last play, and he just quick flipped around to the other side of the quarterback. That is not something we want to see. With a minute left, Ty, it does not look like we will be scoring. Nevada does not throw that much. They're a almost purely run offense. So I really think that what we need to do here is just not let them score. Plain and simple as that. Keep Johnson in the backfield. We'll do pretty good. Looks like a timeout by Nevada, probably just figuring out what are we going to do here. Third and six now, and <laughs> going out wide. Man, a, just a small, short little run there. Stedman doesn't get much, certainly not enough for first down. But because it is less than a minute left, it is a running clock, and Nevada will use every single second they have. Yeah, looks like they're going to go for it here on fourth. Not running that clock down. I think they want another score. Ooh! Ooh. That could have been big if Fifthwit and Wattenberger didn't hit each other. Be sure making everybody miss. Cade, be sure with a great QB run there. But looks like it will be enough for a first down and that will stop the clock. Oh my, that is not good to see. Yeah, I don't, th I don't think they were saying, all right, you know, we're just gonna run this down and see what happens. No, I think they want that ball in the end zone one more time before they go into half here. And with the way this Tigers offense has been moving, it's very possible. Nevada will get the ball after halftime, and oh my, Ty, that is not good to see. Coming out of the half with the... Last... All right, first. Is it deep? And incomplete. It's like Addy was trying to, but nothing happened.
thought so. It's playoff if it's not out of bounds. See how the reads Oh, he gonna be re Oh. Oh my. For a. What I expected there. That stops him from putting it in to that end zone, and now, I mean, take a knee here, or maybe he it'll we'll, we'll take a deep shot. We'll see. Like just a knee. Yep. They'll let the clock go into halftime. And, ladies and gentlemen, that is seven. Lots of excitement. Whew. What a half for both sides, and definitely a lot to look forward to. A lot to talk about. Talk about that after these commercials. to experience convenience of and home center is your one from top your lumber and supplies department of light fixture marvin when putting goods tanko house us in Branson West on Highway 13, just across from Hardee's, and see why we should be your first stop. In Classic haircuts at an affordable price. Traditional straight razor shaves with hot towels and all the extras. All with the feeling of the original barbershop experience. All the love you give, they just won't take. You can ask them please. Come visit Jim's historic barbershop in downtown Reed Spring.
In today's busy world, school customer service wrapped in the convenience of the modern world. Tanko's Lumber and Home Center is building and renovating needs. From top of the line Milwaukee power tools to all your lumber and supplies, Tanko has it all. A generous assortment of light fixtures, painting supplies, Marvin windows and doors, even automotive and sporting goods. Tanko has in Branson West on Highway 13, just across from Hardy's, and see why we should be your first stop in home supplies. At Oakley Auto World, we strive to be your all around best option. 128. Just your tracks. Provided the Lake community with PC repairs, upgrades, security, and virus protection. Our goal is to make helping you upgrade your hard drives to software troubleshooting. We have specialists to solve your technology needs. Come see us on Highway 13, just north of Harder House in Kimberly City. Located in downtown Reed Spring, Midtown Cafe is a slice of a simpler life from years past. A generous breakfast and lunch menu fresh off the grill. Treat yourself to a break from life and meet some new friends along the way at Midtown Cafe. Here at Jim's Historic Barbershop, you always get an old school barbershop experience.
shaves, with hot towels, and all the extras. All with the feeling of the original barbershop experience. All the love you give. Come visit Jim's historic barbershop in downtown Reed Spring. In today's busy world, it's nice to experience customer service. And Home Center is your one stop destination. Painting supplies, Marvin windows and doors, you're looking for. Come visit us across from parties and see why we should be your first stop in home supplies. And gentlemen, welcome to your RS Wolves TV halftime show. I'm here with Mr. Landon Hafer, and it's certainly been an exciting game. That could certainly change come halftime. Landon, what are your thoughts on how this half went? But I really think it's going to bring a lot to talk about in because we need to started that I honestly think was one of our biggest flaws this half. What do you think, Ty? that the run game has just been massively killing us out here especially those outside zones and runs the sweeps the pitches everything that's gone to the outside has been really killing us you know they've been scoring we're getting big chunk yardage out of it so i think maybe spread our defense a little more just anything that contain the outside runs because it seems like we handle up the middle really well you know their qb really really maybe more than five times mm -hmm. so you know, it's really, if we contain the run game, that's all we need. Our offense, I think, can be a little more consistent. There's, like I said, pregame flashes in the... And we sputter out right near the, the red zone, yep. and we can't finish the drive. So it's certainly something where, you know, we, we you know, always score opening drive, and then it can never really get back to that magic as the game goes on. So I think, you know, getting that consistency, and like we said, really leaving the field every time with you know, at least six points to boot would be really nice. Yeah, so I definitely think that if we could keep Adam Lewis and Caden Weiss on the defense on each side, we can contain that run game. But I really think that we could, um, if we can get our offense started, it could be a wildly different game than this past half. Absolutely, you know, if, if, if Blandy just really, you know, makes a few more careful decisions come in second half here, I think we could really have quite the successful game. Definitely. Thank you for watching this halftime show brought to you by RS Wolves TV. We'll be right back in just a few for your third quarter. For over 10 years, Lakeside Computer and Science has provided the Lake community with PC repairs, upgrades, security, and virus protection. Our goal is to make your computer experience as trouble-free as possible. From helping you upgrade your hard drives to software troubleshooting, we have specialists to solve your technology needs. Come see us on Highway 13, just north of Harder House in Kimberling City. Located in downtown Reed Spring, Midtown Cafe is a slice of a simpler life from years past. 
A generous breakfast and lunch menu fresh off the grill with that old school cafe experience. Treat yourself to a break from life and meet some new friends along the way at Midtown Cafe. Here at Jim's Shop Experience. Great razor shaves with hot towels and all the extras, all with the feeling of the original barbershop experience. All the love you give, they just won't take. Jim's historic barbershop in downtown. In today's busy world, it's nice to experience the comforts of old school customer service wrapped in the convenience of the modern world. Tank stop destination for all your home building and renovating needs. All your lumber and supplies. Tanko has it all. Supplies, Marvin windows and doors, even automotive and sporting goods. Tanko has what you are looking for. Come visit us in Branson West on Highway 13. We should be your first stop in home supplies. At Oakley Auto World, we strive to be your all-around best option when buying a vehicle. Eight-point inspection, a service department available to anyone needing it. unique and customer service that works to get the right vehicle at the right price. Come see us at Oakley Auto World. your tracks today. Welcome back after our halftime 
and warmed up. What are we going to be thinking, Ty, coming into this crucial third quarter? Uh, well, you know, a lot of, a lot of the and just really establish on that consistency. Uh, you know, containing that run game of theirs is, is, you know, I think really just the number one priority like we've been mentioning. And other than that, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Just put points on the board and win the game, which is, you know, easier said than done. Yeah, but, definitely. But I mean, we we'll, we'll see what we can come out here. It's, uh, we definitely seen it multiple times in the past for the Wolves against, you know, formidable teams have come out and they've been a completely different team second half. So we'll see what they can do. Yeah. Looks like we're going to be starting in just under 30 seconds. Looks like the Wolves are getting very hyped on Coach Kessinger. He has been a very big role model in a coaching position. He is our just our hype man. He is always stuff ready. But honestly, I think he has been one of the most crucial coaches that we've had in this program in a Uh, we at RSWolves TV would like to apologize to our viewers for the low quality. Uh, we unfortunately do not have the best internet connection out here, so sorry for Just know there's just a few difficulties here, so bear with us. There we go. You know, that's the type of Wolves team we like to see coming out of that locker rooms at halftime. You know, I don't want to see everybody hanging their heads, you know, oh, we're down 27. I want to see energy like I just saw there. Quarter. Nevada, watch out. It's like we got about just over a minute here left until we remuse. Ada stands over there is absolutely filled to the brim. Wow, what a turnout for the Tigers tonight. But I would like to point out of Wolves fans making the two hour, two hour and 30 minute drive to come see their hometown wolves. Yeah, that's that's, that's commitment right there. Come out and support the support the team. So it's what we'd like to see. Warming up. Nevada is certainly the better team on paper. You know, they've shown that they can establish the run game very quickly, and they have early on in this game. But shown that they have the grit to win they have shown time and time again that even through tough games they can prevail and I really think it's going to be one of those nights but I mean you know rings you know rankings say that Nevada is the better team rankings say that Nevada is favored in this matchup but you know what I say you know that doesn't really matter and the Wolves are going to come out here and do their absolute best to prove them wrong a little bit of a deficit to make up here and really so certainly excited to see that Nevada will receive the ball so we'll see what they can do with it coming out here and 
Maybe we'll see a completely different Wolves defense. They, you know, is the biggest thing. You know, it's it's either you get a quick three and out stock Wolves, or you know, it's it's a massive let up and a touchdown. Five, Chris Daniels stuffed around the. Already got massive room and dragging a whole pile of bodies with them. Tigers. And up there to Sanderson. Lewis hits him low. Good tackle. Going for the legs there, and it works well. Certainly not bigger than six foot, six. I know six he's, foot he's, one, he's about your size, though. So. He's. But, a, I mean, he, he makes he makes up. You know what he doesn't have in height, he makes up for it in drive and and power. I mean, he's he's a big leader and big presence. You know, maybe not physically, but certainly, you know, leadership-wise on that defense. It's, it's impressive oh to see every game. My. There uh oh See a few wolves pointing. Maybe another fumble. They are going to say it is... Tigers to cover the fumble, but... For the Nevada offense, that they can realize to stay. Uh, Wolves, another fumble there. Just into a fourth down and make a punt. of it not Thirty-eight yard line. Hands up. Picks up a good gain and moves the chains once again. Another first down for the Tigers. Impressive opening drive they're compiling here. It's very scary. It looked like a quick three and out on that third and nine play, but. Meta Tigers able to get back in there right there and I'm gonna make this drive into First and ten on their own sixteen. Run outside. Stedman makes a miss and keeps dragging people with him. Goodness. Stedman is not that big of a guy. Only six foot one seventy. He's but fast and shifty. Goodness, I mean, he's all night he's been making men miss and killing people with his speed. And uh, 
second and four now. Own 10 yard line. And Wolves are on that one. Made a yard. Johnson in the backfield. Lost the snap, but jumped right on it. That could have been trouble. That'll bring a fourth down. That's not how you want a third down to go. Yep, brings it. To the touchdown. And we've but seen the situation once already this game where fourth down right near the goal line and Seize partner and they scored. Wolves got to stop him here again. It's good to see Johnson not in the backfield. Oh, I am wrong. He was in the backfield. Throws it. Wolves are saying no. Looks like it's ruled incomplete. Well, maybe not. I don't know. So, pass is complete, but he's short. Wow. That was a roller coaster of emotions, let me tell you. The Wolves will get the ball at their own. And it's one of those small things that we've seen throughout this game that Nevada's kicker has not been the greatest. He's missed a couple of point after attempts, and I think that's really why they didn't go for that field goal. Well, you know, anything to really try and pound the Wolves into submission here, so. Good run there. Preston gets, him, gets the Wolves a little, little bit more breathing room near their goal line. Picks up four. Preston's one of those seniors that will be sorely missed after this season. All around the Wolves roster and say, yeah, we're, we're going to miss this guy, this guy, this guy. It's if There's a lot of talent here, but there's also a lot of seniors here for the Wolves. So here you got to make a count. Preston with the power. Dragging people with them. Looks like it's going to move the chains. I think Reed Springs is really finding their groove now. They're seeing that. They're seeing the ways that they can penetrate it. Yeah, it's just important, you know. Nice to pass, but can't abandon the run game. And they'll give it out there to Addison Abbs Addison, guy. who's running all over people. He's not going down without a fight. Wow. Only picked up three yards. But that could be the difference between us ending and keeping going. Somebody that I would like to touch on very briefly is Tyson Cobb. Transfer from Nixa, outstanding player from Nixa. And he's a very good addition to this offense. Looking to see, fakes the pass. Another short handoff there to Preston. Or, excuse me, Chris Daniels. And looks like no gain on the play. Third and seven. Wouldn't be surprised. We been a pretty run-heavy drive so far. 
they come out with. Got four receivers wide. Oh my! Wait, they're saying incomplete. He was not able to hold on to it. That is, oh, that is something scary to see. Oh, oh. Threw it right at Trayson. Oh, God. Had it in his hands, dropped it, but Trayson's down, and he's not getting up, and he's he's holding. It's like Addison is keeping great athletic trainers coming out. Looks like, oh, oh, you know, he's, no, he's up that's, and that, oh. oh, he's hopping. Oh, jeez. Uh, I hate to you see just gotta, that. You, I mean, it's times like that. You just got to hope. Immediately to the athletic trainer's bench. Oh, my. That is a big loss for us. drive but yeah. fourth and seven now looks like that'll bring up the punt team but at this point with only four minutes and 30 seconds left in the third quarter you got to really start thinking oh oh it blocked picked up touchdown tigers on the block punt wow The Veda Tigers are doing to us the same thing they did to. They are just. Offense off the field. <laughs> yeah, I'm at a loss for words right now. I'm not going to lie to you. And. <laughs> And, and they get, get it, it to Stedman. <laughs> Nevada Tigers 28, Wolves 7. Had their arms crossed and their jaws just to the ground. Yeah, I mean, goodness. First I thought it was just an awful punt from where I was standing, and then I'm like, oh no, that's a block. Right up runs it in, and that's a three score game now with 426 left in the third. That's not good to see. But hey, <laughs> fat lady ain't singing yet, as the saying goes. I mean, you know, you can't you can't win a game in the first, second, or the third quarter. It's the fourth quarter where, you know, the victor is decided. So, you know what? <laughs> biggest thing for the Wolves right now, you, you can't just lose all your confidence and hang your head. You gotta get out there and you gotta fight for this game. Be kicking off. Squab kick. Short kick. Gets past the second. It's going to go to Jace Bowen. Ooh, and he's swarmed there. Looks like the Wolves did take I want to do this drive.
Oh, that is amazing to see. Number two, Trayson Cobb, the stand-up. Yeah, it looks like, like it was possibly it, it, just a cramp. It looks cramp. like, yeah, it was just a cramp. Thankfully, goodness, I don't... Ooh, that would have been awful losing him. Going wide on this second down and six. It off. Preston's got some room. Three, right four yards. He's still going. Most of the, all of the. Fighting for every single yard, and that'll be plenty for a first down. Another first to ten here for the Wolves. Next little bit of this quarter in the fourth quarter is really going to be a dogfight for the Wolves. Hey, they've got to make it count. I was talking to multiple players. I'm not going to give you a score. I'm just going to say it's going to be a dogfight. And they were very, very right. It's not going to be an easy battle. It's going to be a very uphill battle. No, it's, it's certainly a game, but Wolves got to score on this drive, no less. You know, you don't you don't want to be chasing your tails the whole fourth quarter. You know, you got to get yourself back in this and, you know, let them know, hey, we're still here. Biggest block and then not put the ball in the end zone and sputter out right at the end there because we've seen that too many times. Ooh, Ooh. good hole there for Preston. Oh, apologies, Chris Daniels on the run. Two minutes left now in the third. Another hand out to Chris. And short game there. I think we really need to see a Blandy special here. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it's that the coaches are, you know, untrustworthy of putting the ball back in his hands, but the run game's doing its job right now. It, it's, it's eating the clock. Downfield, and it's really not that risky. We are running three wide receivers out wide. But Addison Abshire Addison. with the catch. Good throw and catch there. Blaney to Addison Abshire for a Wolves first down. Stopped around the 17. That is a big, big play. I don't think I can stress that enough how big of a play that was. That is really putting us back in this game with just a, under a minute left. Gets us down the field quarter. and in the red zone. We just got to finish it now. Blandy drops back the pass again. Launches it deep for Dowdy. Goes up and oh. ooh, can't make the catch. No flags for pass interference. It's right there. It may have been just oh, a little too high. Good effort, though. Second down. It's going to be second and ten. In their own 18 yard line. Landy hands it off once again. Ooh. Trying to get those yards. Not a whole lot coming. Thrown down. It's like third and seven. It's like we may be going to the air. Yep, they're bringing Addison in. Oh, 
A lot of receivers in the game right now. It's looking like a pass for sure. One high safety. That's a 4-2. They're running right now. Could so expose Jace that. Back Laney, oh, no. Pressure right in his face. Throws it. Get that Gets Jace. Gets the bowling. He was able to save it. He gets a catch, but it's not going to be worth a whole lot. Definitely not. And oh no, Trayson's hobbling back off. Oh God. That's going to be the end of the quarter. It's going to be fourth and ten. Oh goodness. Only thing that concerns me is that Trayson's hopping right back off the field. He's being held. I've already seen that once yeah. now. I was not looking forward to seeing that again. I gotta hope he's okay and just cramping up again, but man. That's not good. It's 21 points. We got 12 minutes to do it. We have seen a lot worse and a lot less time, but it's still something we do not want to see. Well, at fourth and ten, I mean. You've got to put the ball in the end zone here. You you stalled for long enough. You've you've dominated possession time, and yet you're losing by three scores. So you got to start making up for it now. It's or never. It's the fourth quarter. There's no reason. This is those do or die situations. Absolutely. I mean, the situations that we never want, but. You plan yeah, for yeah, him. you hope to be in a little bit more of a comfortable situation here, but you can't always get what you want. Here we go. Blendy oh, rolls out right to pass, launches it back, and oh. Oh, way overthrown to Jace. Looks like a flag on the play. Holding on the offense, it's going to be declined. As the Nevada offense is taking the field, it is, the road is there, but it's not well lit and it is narrow. Let me go in with the run. Oh my. Avius Steedman with the carry. Bowling. I think it's gonna be second and one. Passes it out. And oh, he's got a yep, lot, he's got of, a lot room. of room. Not a lot of speed though. Fifflet chases him down. Fifflet's a big name that we heard all last week. Haven't heard a lot from him this week, but hopefully he's able to make a surge in this fourth quarter. Like the Wolves are showing blitz. And fakes the keeper. Hands it off once again. It's gonna be second and one. We have to get a third and out here. It's almost non With these quick nine yard runs, they're eating up.
Wolves hold him to a short game there. Nine thirty left on the clock. Hands it off to Avius again. Hop First and ten again for the Tigers. Hands it off to Johnson. Big room right. Evan struggling to get him down, finally does. Evan's slow to get up. Not what we want to see with. Just under nine minutes left. Uh, he's pretty tough. I'm sure it'll be good. Yeah. Ooh, Adam. Adam Lewis. Right in there. down here. And fake the run past the Stedman. Oh, I thought he was out, but he's That's another touchdown for the Tigers. Along. It's one of those old sayings in football. Looks like a couple of those wolves just gave up there. Ball start. Oh, and, and it's blocked. Bolin gets to it again. Second one of the game. It's going to be 34 for the Nevada. Well, if there's one positive you're looking for in this game, it's the Respring special teams is doing their job. I'd like to see more from defense and offense as well, but 738 score game. I mean, it's it's not over till it's over, but Wolves really got to get it in gear here because.
received well. Oh. Big hit there. Wolves look at the ball. Looks like Nevada is going to call There's a timeout. Excuse me, 20. a lot trying to keep those legs warm we cannot have him go out again hey you hate to see it right? but he keeps coming back so I guess that's a good sign but hate to see him going out put up a lot of numbers but has not shown amazing things just thus far but has not been given the chance just yet. Pass there. Oh, ooh, ah, right off the hands. Right off the hands of James Dowdy. Almost picked off again. At this point, you have to keep every single pass in play. And read, but man, these these deflections are getting scary. There's a little way too many. Looks like we're gonna go with the run with Preston Bluebaugh. Has yeah, great pick up there. Definitely move the chains. First down. It's like a flag on the play. This is concerning. Oh no, Wolves are moving uh, back. Holding on. It's only going to be second and six, thankfully. Very scary, but it sets us back a good bit. Plain Landy's going to roll out. Roll out left. Looking for something. Looking for it. Launches it deep for oh. Addison and just misses him. Mm. Go yeah. with the punt. Point, you know, you st you still wrong, you know, not it's over, but you know, not
mean, you really have do do the coaches still think we have a shred of hope All right i mean that clock keeps winding wouldn't be surprised you know either nevada's going to come out here just like that right up the middle where they're going to say the heck with it and another normal drive and by the way Nevada's pretty much had their way in this game I think Nevada realizes that we're not I think that they realize a long sweep we could get Big run. By number Over on the clock in the fourth or and oh Caden Weiss with a big hit oh my I think that was a little bottled up frustration from Caden there and be frustrated too if see where he's coming from there yeah no question. It's been a hard game to win. It's not looking too good at all. That big oh, 
fourth and six now. Looks like Nevada. Right to the right side. For first down. They're going to be. We got Brayden Manning down. Camping his leg. Hopefully not too. It's been run off. Josh Lowe hobbling off the field. It's like Wolves just kind of discuss what last minute plans are. A little under two and a half minutes left now on the clock. Good snap, hand on right at the middle. Oof, good yardage there. Desmond Robinson with it. Stopped around the six yard line. Nevada certainly got all their back. I'm sure they I'm sure they feel pretty confident that they've got this game locked away. Lower classmen some playing time here. Another handoff there. left now as Nevada looks assault this Third down now. Or oh, excuse me. For down. And Nevada will take this one to a knee. And that will do it. 
for the game tonight. Nevada will finish this game 34 with the Wolves putting up seven. A good fight from both sides and a fantastic game played by Nevada. And we will be right back for our post game show right after this commercial break. your tracks today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your post-game show on Ars Wolves TV. Final score, 34 Nevada, 7 for your Reed Spring Wolves. Wolves put up a good fight, but Unfortunately, it wasn't enough tonight as Nevada really had their way with this one, especially on the ground. A fantastic ground performance by Nevada from, you know, a whole slew of running backs that they had. Very impressive game. Landon, how are your thoughts now the game went? Um, I really think that we, our biggest flaw wasn't we, we were able to stop their run game. Our defense, we saw all last week that we were able to stop plays, but Nevada just has so much depth in their running backs but our defense wasn't able to stop it either, and we weren't able to get our offense together either. What are your thoughts, Ty? You know, I, I think that there were, there were certainly some bright spots. You know, we, we, I think we put our best effort out there tonight, but, man, I, I think we all knew coming into this game that Nevada is a good team this year. They mean business, and more than just on paper. You know, they come out here, and you know, when you got a guy that puts up 1,800 rushing yards on the ground last year as a junior, and then you come in here and you've got three seniors in the backfield. You've got 16 returning starters, seniors littered all over this defense. You've got yourself a heck of a team. Very impressive game for Nevada, like we said. And that'll be all. So thank you guys for watching this 